Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are doing a very very highly requested what's in my uni bag 2019. See how early I am getting on this ish. So I've done these like what's in my bag videos for quite a while now, a few years running. I will link the other ones I have down below and this is very specifically like what I will bring with me to uni. Now first of all I have two different bags that I will use for university depending on the kind of day that I am having. Or I will use the Longchamp, what is it, what are you, who are the La Pillage. This one that I have, it's in the beige. It featured in my um, Instagram around my life for a day video. It's up there if you guys want to go see that. I took the beige one because it kind of goes with everything. Like you can't go wrong. It goes with neutrals, brights, monochrome does everything and also because i am that hoe i tied because one of those scarves you actually get from lush but if you want to you know crack out your hermes scarf go for it but i've put mine around here just because i know everybody has these bags so i was like i literally can't go on the tube without seeing i shit you not two or three people with this bag so that's one of the reasons also i didn't get the black one of these or the navy one and i just preferred the neutral one the one my mum saw it she was like oh is that for me i'm like <laughs> It's my or on a lighter day, I will use the backpack between me and my two best mates at uni. We all have this bag. <laughs> We're a hoe for this freaking bag. So basically, the distinction is library day, in and out for a class day, because this doesn't fit my laptop, but it fits everything else. This will fit my laptop, headphones, chargers, everything else. Library day. In and out day. We're gonna start with the backpack. So I have the black one of these. Um, my mum bought me for this in New York. It's the only thing that I got in New York. It's the only thing I wanted. I was on like a wall path for it. I'm making my mum walk down Fifth Avenue being like, I need this bag. This is, to be honest, so convenient because it gets every fits everything I need and it's useful because it distribu distributes the weight across both my shoulders rather than on just the one or on my elbow. I'm gonna give myself tennis elbow. You can get it from holding your bag. It falls at a really nice point on your back and it's really useful for running in and out of uni, especially when you're a student in London. You've got to have a little bit more mobility around you in this city. The two most important things this bag fits, as you can see, fits my notebook for class and my iPad. It's my dad's iPad, but it's mine now. Recently, I've been putting a lot of like reading on the iPad so that I can just annotate on here, then I can send it back to my laptop and then I can highlight and copy and paste from my laptop quotes and stuff. Otherwise I have to go through all of my notes and then I have to actually physically type up everything, which can be a massive, massive pain. Quite a time constraint when you're doing essays. So this in third year especially was the most efficient way of annotating my notes. And it always means that I can take it with me to class and I don't forget anything because it's already all on here. So that's really, really useful that I've been doing. Cause with, especially with airdrop, the fact that I can airdrop all of this to the laptop and back and forth is just so incredibly useful. And I'll show you something else that I got that helps annotating and like keeping notes. I got like a stylus. I know, <laughs> I want that. I got a stylus so I can like write on everything really useful. Very, very good. And it fits perfectly. Then my notes. There it all is. Um, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you'll know that I essentially, each module gets a different color. This one's blue, that one's yellow pink so that I actually can like flick through and know really quickly what is what. All of my notes in the same place and it means I only need to remember one thing and I can't get it wrong. It's all here. Everything I have in this bag I would have in the other bag. The only thing is this bag doesn't fit the laptop yet to start with. And obviously my phone is obviously going to be in the bag. I have a missed call from my brother. That's concerning. My old brother never rings me. <laughs> oh dear. In this little front pocket I really really love it. So great. This is my tube and my rail card is on the other side. Um, it's in this like holographic kind of flimsy plastic thing. I kept using my like travel car thingy for like all of my stuff when I went on a night out. So that's why for Christmas, I got, got a card holder for Christmas. This is already like my favorite thing in the entire world. Cause I got a new coat that has an internal pocket. So I keep like putting my keys and this in there and not having a bag. It's been like the best feeling. I love this. It's just, 
makes me like happy on the inside. I know consumerism is bad, but this, I was just like, this is a, this is a nice thing. And so it fits really well in this bag. And then I have obviously house keys. I have a key for work and all that kind of stuff that lives in there. It's just a really, really efficient way of like, because with this, I can like condense down everything from my big purse into here to like things I need. Because all of my like loyalty cards, whatever, that works in cash, that works really well on the big one. But in this one, I'm like, right, what do I actually need? What I actually need? It's about as good if I'm just like, going to run a few errands and stuff. Glasses, my glasses always come with me to uni. Yes, I have used a lot glasses. And yes, the lenses are custom. I had them made. If you guys are dyslexic, tinted lenses is actually something to have a look into. It just makes it so much easier for me to read. I look like a knob, I've said this before. You look like an absolute idiot the entire time. But like, you know what? If that makes you read better and makes your life easier, go for it. Have just a rogue biro. Everyone needs a pen, except I have a pencil case. This is my pencil case. Um, and the pen I was talking about is this. So it's, it's just a stylus at one end. It's got like a thingy and then you can twist it off and there's like a fine point to like doodle all over. Cause if you've seen on my thumbnails, I do annotate them by hand sometimes. So that's useful. And then if I'm annotating my notes by hand, I can do it on a screen and like keep writing, which is quite, actually I'm just gonna put this in here. Oh, there we go. Compartmentalization. Love it. It's like a lucky dip. Hand sanitizer. We have hand sanitizer because I live in London. And London. Germs? So many germs. So many germs. So many germs. There. Much better. That's really good. I have some rogue strepsils in here because I was ill and I didn't want to be ill. And coughing in the library. The worst thing in the world. So it's in there. Oh, hand cream. This is a L'Occitane Lavender Hand. I believe it's a gel. No, nope, it's a creme. Creme. Mm. 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 These are my flat keys. I recently changed the. I got a new keyring. It says London because otherwise it gets confused with my keys for home. So, oh, I'm a London one. Yay! These are just mints from like Everest because sometimes after lunch, you, you know, you just don't wanna smell gross. We're exposed, but trust me, the sun is starting to set, so it's necessary. This is like my new favorite thing. Oh, you just, what is, what could this possibly, what could this possibly? Yeah, baby. <laughs> I mean, I would use that don't bookshop one I have, the like, you know, the, the canvas bags, but they don't always fit in this little, in this little backpack, so I think this is a really, this is, this one kind of like lives more in here. My other ones tend to live in my bigger bag because, yeah, there's room. I just think this is great. I mean, you just literally no excuse to use a plastic bag now, is there? You have a little bag always with you. I'm gonna buy like five of these for my dad to be like, you need these in your life. But these are really efficient. I think most supermarkets new, now, new. I think most supermarkets now do sell them. I know in Paper Chase you can get really nice colorful ones. So I high, high key recommend these. These are really, really good. I don't know what they're officially called, but just, they're fantastic. Highly, highly recommend. Oh, and then the last thing. The last thing was I got this. This is so indulgent. This like little mini look. <laughs> L'Occitane uh, long shot bag, but inside I keep all of my bits and like really bits and bits and bobs. There in here I have a compact. This is from Forever 21, but like you can see the aesthetic that I have going here. <laughs> I know what I like and I like what I know. <laughs> Got a couple rogue bubbles. Oh. And the chocolate. It's going back in there. I'm not eating sugar in January. I can forget about that. And that is what lives in this baby. I absolutely adore this. This is such a functional purchase. It's black, so it really goes with everything. Tiny, it's classic. It is so functional. It's so functional. I really, really love it. I adore it. It also fits my big camera, this one. So when I'm like out and about and I want to just film stuff, it's also a really, really useful bag to have. Really, really pleased with it. Let us now move on to this. So basically everything that I've just shown you <laughs> Who films things at sunset? I do. Um, okay, so in this bag, everything that I have in here usually is what I would have I have in there, but then with all these extra things as well. This is really easy to actually do in terms of wrapping around, so I'll just put a little thing at the end to show you how you to do it. Here we have. I 
freaking love this bag. This is honestly like, oh, it's just such a good size. All right, I'm just gonna, first thing I'm gonna yank out and throw at you is, this is an external hard drive. If that you ever listen to one thing I tell you to do, get an external hard drive. They, this is, how many terabytes are you? So there's two terabytes, I'm only sort of half it. Honestly, I cannot stress how important those are. Like, you don't want to be that person. There's always one each year that you see you going around Twitter of somebody whose bag was stolen with their laptop in the dissertation in it, the laptop in the thesis, like, for God's sake, please get an external hard drive. It will, it's, I know they're expensive until they are priceless. Moving on, the next is my headphones. These stupid headphones. I have a love-hate relationship with them. Um, yeah, you can plug them in, but they are wireless. When I'm like using the Bluetooth function on them, there is a little delay, but then both headphones work. If I use the cord, only one headphone works, but then it's in sync with my laptop. It's like the most stressful thing. So if I'm like chilling out in the library, just listening to music, I do it without any of it with, you know, just Bluetooth. Bluetooth from my life up. But if I have to edit, I have to plug it in and then only one of them works. It is so annoying and like, I need new ones, really. But I'm like, but I don't. It still works, I can't be bothered to replace them, especially because I haven't had them that long. So I don't recommend this brand, but wireless headphones are amazing. <laughs> I love them. I'm never gonna be that twat with the AirPods. First of all, I think the design of them in your ear is just crap. Apple headphones have always been really bad. I don't understand why everyone's like, uh, AirPods. I'm like, great, you just have another way to prove that you spent money on something that isn't actually very good and you only spent it on money on it to spend money on it. And that's the most important thing. And I just bashed my entire university logo at you because it's stuck on the bottom of my laptop. This is my laptop. This is my laptop. Look at it. Look at it. Everything you have seen with your eyeballs has come by my laptop. Oh, do you want to see how ratchet my stupid laptop is? First of all, that was my entire university timetable. At the top, my first sticker on, because I don't want the government spying on me. And then two of the keys have come off. And I can't get them to go back on. I've tried, I tried like a tutorial to put them back on again. It didn't work. I'm so irritated about that because I just can't, I just can't get them back on again. So I had to like Sharpie on, this is the L and M key have gone off. So I had to like Sharpie on, but almost as you're typing, it rubs off again. So I've just had to memorize which one is which. <laughs> Ugh, it's so annoying and my mum is still like but it works so you don't need a new laptop i'm like i've had it for five years this laptop has been like abused <laughs> um i think at some point i need to come on viral youtube fame i've been happy for watching this video i could buy a new laptop i've got an end game for everything guys and this is my like proper purse i this oh, this is a christmas present from my mum ages ago i just it's just so nice to uh, <laughs> I've got my boots points because I'm an adult. But yeah, in here are like all of my different, I've got a boots club card, I've got a Tesco club card, I've got a HMV club card, I don't know why. Uh, loyalty cards, what I mean. I've got my EHEC card, I've got my, what is this? Oh yeah, because I have a Belgian identity card as well as a provisional driver's license for the UK. I don't have a license, I can't drive. Um, that's why you haven't had any of this like driving videos from me because I can't. <laughs> it's funny because apparently that's like a gay thing. <laughs> uh, or maybe it's just a buy thing. Anyway, and then I have my my lanyard for uni, um, which currently, there you go. My ID was in my, my ID was had been chilling in my, what's it called? Card holder, that's what it's called. But now it's back in here because I yeah, uni class is back in fashion. So yeah, that is basically my uni life is between two bags. I'm a busy woman who's got a lot of crap. It's more that I like making my life easier with the small bag because it fits for two more important things apart from the days I need my laptop. There's a life days. And also now my legs are going very, very, very numb. Very exciting. <laughs> Leave me any requests for videos you guys have below. I hope you had a lovely news around my thing. Like, subscribe, and all my jazz. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.